Yeah, well, never a truer sentence has been said. A lot of celebrities on uh, Channel 7's SAS Australia. Awesome show. It's my favourite show forever, I think. Yeah, it's Mary. been a while since we've been this into a show. <laughs> Good to see you here. Good morning. Good to be here. It feels odd, right? It feels odd, right? This is actually, I think, the second hostage situation I've been in <laughs> in 24 hours. <laughs> hey, impressed. I, I didn't see last night's episode yet, but I'll watch it after the show today. Mm. Jackie said you nailed it on the so the yeah. safe room. I do this. The, the hostage, yeah. Yeah, I do this for fun mm-hmm. every week. Mm-hmm. Safe room. Yep. Where I go through, but I'm shooting real bullets, yep. but no real people. Yep. Well, that's how I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to shoot my way out of here, Kyle. <laughs> do what you need to do. So, Merrick, have you, like, have you had a real interest in the SAS prior to being on this show? Ever since I was a boy. Ever since really? I was a kid. As far back as I can remember. I think I was about 10 or something like that. I had a fascination with the SAS specifically and uh, the first book I ever read voluntarily uh, was uh, a book on the SAS and I was obsessed by it as a kid and the only two interests that I had I liked sports but the things that I, I loved the most that captivated me were comedy yep. and the SAS and so it, was it been, the road. could have been one or the other yeah and I made the wrong call <laughs> no, no, did you? do you no reckon way. like if you could go back to that fork in the road would you choose to be an SAS soldier or would you still choose the comedy entertainment route I'd, honestly I'd I don't know. Like I think, I think there there would have been a tough decision for me. That wasn't a decision that I had to make. I loved comedy, and I, I don't regret it for a second. Well, yeah. you're talking about it like it's the past tense for you, but you're going to be a comedian well, forever, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, if I if I'd gone back in time and put myself forward for military service and and SAS selection, oh, you would have been the funny SAS guy. I would have been a very funny SAS. You would have been the Farras. You would have been the Farras. I would have been the Farras. <laughs> Only not getting people killed. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and and what is the cutoff limit for SAS? I think I've passed it. No, have you? No. I'm, I'm 47 in like a week or two. But look at you. What have you done? You you look like I know you got yourself in shape before the show, but look how good looking he is. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Yeah. Should, we should get some, you, get some, you need some more cameras in here to capture. Oh, yeah, when you get some more cameras set up. Yeah, you've only got a thousand in here. You probably you, need a couple more. You look quite young compared to like I've aged terribly. You'll have to admit. Uh, yeah, I would admit that. But you were. You were podgy before, like not podgy, not not fat like me, but like a mess. But now you're very, you're like a like a model looking. Lean, now. very lean. Lean and good looking and uh, fit. Dis- fit. Fit. That's the word. Fit. I've never used that word before, so <laughs> thank you. Well, I do this thing. Uh, I, I do running, right? Yeah. Um, you'd remember running from the nineties, Kyle. Yes, I, think um, I do remember that. Eighties, maybe eighties. Yeah, running um, from the police, usually yeah. I was. But it's yeah. I just keep myself fit. I just look after myself and exercise and diet and just look after myself. And the sleep ins must help that. You sleep in, or sleep do you get in. up early? Still? No, I get up. I get up at five a.m. every morning. I got a very strict routine in the morning. Get up at five, meditate. Then I go and exercise. Meditate first. Wake meditate up, every meditate. Morning. Yep, hundred percent. Yeah, because wow. Kanaya, something you mentioned on the show a lot was that after being on the high and in radio, it is an adrenaline mm. rush. You're there for twenty years, same as us. It really made me think about my own situation. And when you said it, when it all stopped, it was great at first because it's exciting, yep. new opportunities. Take a breath. But then, when you don't get as many jobs as you're getting. You then went into a real lull and yep. got depression. Is that something you're still struggling with? No, nah, to be honest, no. I reckon I'm physically and mentally the fittest I have ever been in my life. And I put it down to the fact that I did do this show. Because right. last about a year ago, I just felt like I was creeping down. I wouldn't say that I had depression. I think you've got to be very, very careful about the wording of those things. What I felt was depressed at times. Right. And right. I had anxiety. And what it was, it was because there was a whole lot of situations in my world, work, and also to, you know, and in my personal life, not with my immediate family, not with my wife or children but with my family and it kind of compounds and I felt like it was kind of stepping down and I went all right so I did the right things I spoke to a doctor I spoke to a psychologist I don't mind talking about that and to be honest it kind of didn't do anything I went and did meditation course I did all these things to try and arrest the decline right so that's very strong of you to even realize a lot of people don't realize to get out early start with awareness you always start with awareness but it didn't do anything 
No, and that was the thing. And then what it was is I was able to identify it was my issues were based around my own personal confidence. Right. And I'm a confidence player. When I'm confident, I'm very, very resilient. And when I'm not confident, I lose that resilience. So I'd lost the confidence and I went, well, what I'll do is I'll get it back. And then when the the show came along, I went, that'll do it for me. That would totally. 100% do it And for me. also, it's a bit of a dream lived I out. I loved it. They I gave me you a did. gun, Jackie. Did I you know. see They gave me a gun. And you were so good. <laughs> I shot some bad guys. You were Jackie, really good. tell Merrick what happened when you went on your one and only um, meditation uh, day. <laughs> oh, yeah. I tried meditation with a meditation guru. Oh, yeah. yeah. This sounds like a sex pest story, but go on. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Yeah, let me get this guy. has got no qualifications, does he, Carl? Just leave his blouse off. Yeah. Uh, start relaxing. His name's Jason. He's from Toowoomba. <laughs> no. <laughs> but you went up onto a cliff a somewhere. Cliff. Oh, God, here we Down go. Down at the Gap or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, It was like that. Beautiful spot. We were literally it. out. Meditate. On the rocks. Do, don't right. think we were meant to be there, to You're be honest. You're sitting there in your little yeah. shorts. Sitting right. there in my little shorts. Yeah. And then what legs. happened? Then an ant, can you believe, an ant crawled into my undies and bit me on the vagina. On and the it flap. actually, it hurt. Right or left flap? Right, <laughs> right. Right flap. Yep. <laughs> Can you believe that? And then I couldn't get the ant out. How do people listen to this show? How do you meditate with an ant? How do you meditate with an ant sinking its teeth into your right At first, because like I didn't want him to know I had an ant in my pants, right? Because he was hot. She wanted to sort of. So I was like really subtly trying to like get it out, like with a few flicks. With a few flicks, that would have been. You're dexterous. (laughs) Imagine what he was thinking. (laughs) Shoot, this chick's toey. I had to tell him in the end, yeah. stand up and practically take my and pants then, off. And guess what he said? He said he had to suck the poison out of it. <laughs> he did not. Oh, no, did that he was really? He's like, oh, wrong, wrong story, wrong no, story. I've heard that story before, but not in that context. <laughs> <laughs> so now that was her meditation over. And I've never it. done it since. You should no, meditate. I Kyle, do, you should meditate I do too. guided meditation. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's really good. I usually have a joint and then start meditating. <laughs> but, yeah. then, but then you just fall asleep after yeah, three seconds of meditation. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, depends on how hard the, the joint is. Yeah, see, what's you, what you're doing is you're putting yourself into partially the right landscape, but yeah. you're not doing any of the work there. there. <laughs> yeah, but I, I always take the that's easy just, road. You exactly. Know? You, take the, you take the road that doesn't actually go anywhere. That's you right. go, oh, just, that oh, just takes me to sleep town. Another dead end there. Yeah. But, like, I'm really happy for you. That, and you've got two little kids, yep. happily married. Everything's yep. great there. Yeah, it's good. It's nice to watch you, a different side of you on this show because for a long time I just saw you as an enemy and we'd work <laughs> against each other. But you see everybody's an enemy. No, I do, I do. And that's that's my own, that's a flaw of mine. Oh, mate, I could sit here and break you down into the tiny little pieces. No, you, you, no, no. No? <laughs> really? No, we haven't got time for that. <laughs> you've learned too many skills on that show. I bet I you've, you've really, I have. you've got your arsenal full. You can yeah, do pretty much anything, I reckon, now. It's, it is definitely given me my confidence back. And what's been awesome is that the, the two parts of my brain and my personality, which is, you know, going from comedy and silly and, and being a clown and then being into, you know, a really focused weapon. Yeah. That mental dexterity, I love it. I love being able to switch between the two whenever I choose to. And that gave me that ability. But it's highlighted, like now that I'm doing gigs, doing stand up. Because COVID has lifted in New South Wales, so I'm able to get out and about. It's actually made that part of my brain and that part of my performance stronger because the other part of my brain, which is the more serious side, has been strengthened as well. So, you know, it's like left hand, right hand. So the funny side's always been there, but now the 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 serious focus They're side there, yeah. is polished up. Were you yeah. offended when the uh, SAS guys said, what do you do for a living? And when you said comedian, they laughed. It was just <laughs> like, oh, God. Oh, really? And then they said, do you tell us a joke then? Oh, I just oh. went, I, you know, the funny thing is I prepared myself for eight or nine months to go on that show and did not think... <laughs> Once to answer the most obvious question, I was like, oh, I, don't, oh, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't tell jokes. I, 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 I tell stories. Yeah. Oh, no. Funny stories. Oh, How long is this segment? It only gets worse, too. I only get Does more it? serious. Yeah, yeah. I get, oh, I, get, I, get, I get more and more serious. The jokes really disappear you from there. You could not get any more serious than what you oh, are now. You should see my face. It goes full <laughs> magnum. It goes from blue steel in a magnum and wow. back again. Yeah. yeah. Oh, are you proud so of funny. yourself? Like, watching oh. yourself? Because like when we when people in entertainment watch themselves, 
Are you are you watching yourself differently now, or are you like, wow, there's a side of me I've never seen? I look at my face and go, what's wrong with you, you psycho? <laughs> um, no, look, I'm proud of I'm proud of. I said this yesterday that I'm proud of what I did, particularly, you know, with a hostage situation. That is a very, you know, Jackson and I were the only ones to complete that hostage situation correctly. He's clever. He's good as well, Jackson. I like him. He's focused. He's an awesome kid. He's got incredible mental acuity, that boy. Um, And just a great heart as well. Massive heart, that boy. But um, I was proud of, you know, being able to complete that because that was a massive test. The pressure test, the pressure day is the biggest thing. Wrong. Oh, and right. you get that wrong, you're talking about making decisions about taking human life or not taking human life. And regardless of the bullets don't actually come out the end of the barrel, you are pointing a military-grade weapon at another human being and deciding whether or not to pull the trigger or not, right? Yeah. So it's a hugely difficult thing to, to do. But I'm proud of what I did, but I'm more proud of what I said because I think that there's more strength in sharing and telling than there is in hiding and closing it in. So to share it and to talk to people, I don't mind that because yeah, good. it's better for people and better for me to talk about it. Well, what about be- Rosso? I don't think he was there. <laughs> I was looking for him. But do you and Rosso still get on? I've often wondered. I haven't spoken to Rosso. Because there was no big like drama or anything, was there? No, there was never. There was not like an explosive blow up or anything like that. Did, did it just fade off like an old bo- like an old girlfriend? Uh, no, to be honest, I think Rosso and I just kind of you just grow apart. It's like any. It was like an intense relationship. Rosso and I not only worked together, we would drink together, socialize together. Oh. We had the same. It, it just you just spend all of your time in each other's pockets. Gotcha. But Rosso and I did, you know, tour after tour, radio shows, television shows. Yeah, that's right. Um, a you know, lot. We wrote books. We did, ev- we did everything you could do other than make a, a feature film. Did you, girls, uh, did you guys ever two out a, a chick together? Did you just call us you girls? No, did you didn't... guys ever two out a chick together? A what? Two out a chick. No, God no. Oh, I don't know. I'm just asking. <laughs> Well, you said you did everything together. I thought, you know, like... <laughs> not that. No, not that. <laughs> not that. I'm not capable. No, you are. <laughs> no. I know you've got a family now, but I'm talking way back in Triple J days. No. Like, oh, I've got some bloody toey thing from <laughs> from Tasmania, and you're like, oh, we can... Oh, from Tasmania? Yeah, oh, Thanks for lowering the standards <laughs> for me. I could probably do something on the mainland. Yeah. <laughs> I am capable. <laughs> I no, I didn't. Jackie's I didn't. family from Tasmania. Jackie's yeah, family's from Tasmania. Well, I guess that. And then, they moved, <laughs> then they moved to the Gold Coast. So, well, like, Jesus Christ. That's, uh, that story's written. I can see that. <laughs> Jackie, I, I accused Jackie this morning. We were talking about you, and she was gushing over you. Like, really She's got going, a massive crush on me. You can tell. That's what I thought. No, I, I, I accused her of flicking the bean the over eyes. you. See, there we uh, go. I'm ah. looking at you. <laughs> no, I, I was saying it how much I admire you on the show. When it started, when I saw you consoling Ali in the helicopter, and it really made me see you in a different light. And so I kept rewinding that moment. I reckon I've watched that moment about 15 times. Oh, my God. Well, I, you're obsessed. I what? don't know what it is. It was something about the look in your eyes. Sweetness. It, it was, was a sweet, like tender you, you side. Kind of were, you recognised that she was upset. And then you were telling her it's going to be okay. Very difficult in a helicopter, mind you, because yeah. you can't hear anything. Yeah, it's like, yeah. It's going to be all right. Yeah, I don't know what it was about that, but I just thought, oh gosh, oh, what a sweetheart. She's a gentle. Kid. It was a gentle she side. She's a very, very good person, and you know, it's, what people don't see is that. She didn't jump out of that helicopter because she was weak. She didn't jump out of the helicopter because it was pretty gnarly. The right. winds were amazingly strong. Like the chopper, we were surprised the choppers even went in the oh, air. Oh, getting thrown around a bit, Oh, it was wasn't? really woolly. It was, we had to do two passes uh, over the lake before we were able to jump out. It was really full on. Oh. I've been in choppers before. I'd never, ever been as concerned as I was at that moment. So Is it worse than like the SeaWorld one where you go oh. up from the, you know? <laughs> Because that SeaWorld one can be pretty... You know what? You know you when go you, over the dolphins and that's terrifying. You know when you go to Woolworths, Kyle, no, and, and, you, and you see the little plastic helicopter there and you put in your 20 cents <laughs> yeah. and you go for a ride on it? Is it it's like, like that? that. <laughs> it's, like, it's just like that. It's just it's, like that. They can be terrifying. Yeah, yeah Backwards absolutely. and forwards and backwards and yeah, forwards. Absolutely. And some of them elevate a little bit off the ground, have you a noticed? A little bit off the ground. Yeah. That was exactly like SAS. <laughs> they elevate a little bit off the ground. It's back on tonight, right? Yeah, back on tonight. So tonight is... And you'll love this because I did hear... Last was it last week I was on when Faras was yes. in my chair. Yes, here. that's right. And uh, this he is came the night. in. Uh, he was not happy with you. No, he's not happy. He's all right now. He sent me a text message yesterday. He's an all right guy. Yeah, I don't have I don't yeah. have a problem. I've with him. even I told him. I've had him on, but I've even said he can be a pest sometimes. Like, and he was being a, a little bit of a pest on that show. Yeah, it's just difficult. That's that situation in there is incredibly intense, and only if you're in that environment can you understand how full on it is. You're constantly cold, always cold, oh. always hungry, always tired. 
And so there's no real room oh, for God. somebody to not play the, the team game. You yeah. have to look after people. People like Candace Warner, amazing, looked after people, right. looked after me, looked after other people. Good on her. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. And that's what everyone was like. Erin McNaught, another carer. You know, you, you get around the people who care. Whereas for us, he is very selfish. He's very, very self-involved. Yeah. Right? And I don't take that back. And he was very much like that. But that started to affect the group. And yep. that's where I had a problem. But tonight, <laughs> the he, intervention. Yes, oh, really? the intervention. Yeah. This Uh-oh. is the one he, he was telling us about where he goes, oh, they try and get me kicked out. And uh, Merrick, oh, right. Merrick leads the way oh, on that. Oh, is that, that okay. like show of hands? Like who wants him out? No, yeah. no, yeah. he goes to the DS. Oh. It's full on. But the yeah. thing is that's not shown <laughs> in the show is that I actually was the only person who was allowed to approach the DS. Each day right. on, on the show, you have what they call a uh, duty recruit, and that is the only designated person in the group who's allowed to approach the DS. Right. Oh. So on that day, it happened to be me. Like so patrol when, leader in scouts. Correct. Right. Okay. Well, I, I wouldn't do scouts, but you know. You were a scout? Oh, no. God, no. Were you? No, no, no. Where were you? No, no. Sea Eagle. I, I, was in the, I was in the Cubs, and then the I was kicked out for lighting a fire. Anyway. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's right. right. Inside, inside the hall. Inside, inside the, inside the hall. hall. Yeah. yeah, all right. So I mixed up indoors, <laughs> outdoors a little bit. But it's as duty recruit, I had to go. So so everybody, okay. everybody wanted that consensus, the universal consensus, to go and approach the DS to have a chat about for us. Oh, so I went and did it, and exactly as I'd said to the group would happen, the DS would say, shut up and get get out of my face. <laughs> and I did, and I went back. But we still had the chat, and we had an open chat with him, and he was better after that. That's awesome. Well, watch tonight, SCS. Merrick Watts, thank you for joining us on the show. 7.30, Channel 7. Good to see you, man. Great to be yeah, here. Thanks Jealous for coming John. in. Je- Brooklyn, what do you think as a gay man? Is this a good-looking bloke? Or oh, what? Abs- I was looking at you, Merrick, thinking if I was in a gay bar and oh, you know, a yeah. 47-year-old walked in, I wouldn't be expecting you, like... You'd be a hit. You'd go off. There you go. Mate, always happy for new audiences. <laughs> <laughs> Not fussy. Peter, what do you think? Intern Pete, you know Intern Pete, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. He yeah, known Mary for a long time. He's a good-looking man. Yeah. Okay, well, we've got a pretty good consensus on that. That feels yeah. good. What about what the rest of the team? There's ask... only about 80 nah, people who work on the show. The whole interview, why don't we ask some of the girls? What do you think, Mayo? Yeah. No, oh, you... oh, wow, what a diss. Brutal. Yeah. I haven't heard anything more brutal than that when, than, since the DS told me I wasn't funny. So it was like, oh, yeah, I mean, I mean, if he's your type, but he's not my type. Wow, well, it's not even my age, is it? It's, no. it's just all wrong. You look at the picture and go, big ears, Mayo, big nose, not would you right. Sorry, I'm very honest. I couldn't lie. Yeah, well, don't be honest. Don't be honest. Lie, Tell lie, lies. lie. Yeah, lie. 100%, my God. Like, God. You no, you're looking great fit-wise. It just wouldn't yeah. be my type. That's your background wow. is not working. <laughs> she might as well just be shanking you in the prison somewhere. I know, exactly, right? That was stabbed. What is oh, it exactly brutal. you don't like about Mary? <laughs> exactly, Mayo? what is it? Um, I don't know. I do know, you but I think I shouldn't say it. It's, it's just an overall vibe. He wants the honesty. And what is it? Okay, I think it's like your face is really skinny, oh. so oh. it makes like... The nose look a bit bigger. Wow. Wow. <laughs> but not like, you're still great looking, I promise. Yeah. Uh, for a Pinocchio works. looking guy. I should have just right? said, you're great. I would go there, 100%. You wouldn't go there, though. Is that what no, you're that's all he cares there. about. Would God, you go there or not? <laughs> I thought I was battling depression before I came here. <laughs> we'll give you the lifeline number before you leave. You know how you got to do that shit? Mate, we'll be watching tonight, 7.30, <laughs> SAS Australia. Merrick Watts, uh, thanks Pleasure. for coming in, buddy. Thanks for coming. Thanks, Chat Merrick. soon, mate. The Kyle and Jackie O Show.